Hi and welcome. My name is Tolan. I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how to change a table back to a range and some of the different ways that you can think about doing that. So join us in this video and let's get started. If you want to follow along, go ahead and download exercise file 07.07, which you can find a link to in the description of this video. So we touched on this a little bit earlier in the course, but we wanted to cover it more formally now. If you have a table and you want to convert it back to a range, there's a couple different ways to do that. The first way would be to select your, well, I guess click anywhere in your table, go to the table design tools and go to convert to range. If you click that, it will prompt you asking you whether or not you want to convert this table to a normal range. You can say yes. When you do that, it's going to guard the formatting that you had originally. So in our table, we originally had this formatting, although it's no longer a table, we still have this alternating, uh, alternated banded, banded rows, and we have the, the white text here with a blue fill. So if we wanted to get something more like this, there are a couple of strategies to do that. So if we were to go back to the table and we were to hit control Z, it would undo, which means this is still a table. We know it's a table because when we click anywhere in the table, it comes and brings up the table tools and the design tabs. Now, we could go to table and then convert to range. That would be a second option. But if we do that, we have the same issue, the same challenge. Now, although it's a range, it's still a formatted range and we wanted it to kind of revert back to what it was before. So in that case, we're gonna hit Control Z. And then while this is a table, we could go to the design tab and then go to table styles and click here and maybe pick this first one and then go to convert to range. This, however, still means that these individual cells will be, will be uh, centered to a certain degree and that they'll have bold text. A third option would be to take this, go to the design tab and go to convert to range, hit okay. And then what you might wanna do is you might just want to take your format painter and for a cell that hasn't been formatted with that, uh, with that new formatting, you could just scroll over your table and that would automatically convert it back to normal formatting. Or as an alternative, you could essentially just apply the table cells and the normal formatting. But notice that when you do that, you kind of lose the formatting of dates and salary. So maybe you don't want to do that. Thus, when I am thinking about converting something from a table to range, let's say this is a table. If I wanted to do that, I would generally do the two-step process of first coming to the design tab and going to the table styles picking this light design tab here, and clearly we want to do that. We go here to this design tab and then go to convert to range. And when we do that, it would have that kind of default, that default formatting. So, in this video, we went ahead and we looked at how to convert a table to a range. Let's say that this was a table. We can convert it to a table by using Control T. It would automatically have that formatting. If we wanted to convert it back to a range, we might want to select everything by hitting Control A twice, then going in here and going to this type of formatting. Once we've done that, we can then go to Convert to Range and the formatting would uh, would be that of a, a range, relatively aesthetically simple range rather than having something like the banded colored rows. So with that, in our next video, we're going to start discussing charts and graphs. We'll do a general overview of charts within Microsoft Excel and then look at how to insert those charts in the next couple of videos. So join us in the next section. And as always, thanks for watching.